Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Rebel Galaxy Outlaw where I've just been sitting here staring at this piece of modern art in the lobby of this casino for like 20 minutes. It's supposed to be a 5, right? It's like a 5 and then there's a, a 5 on top of a smile. Maybe 5's a really lucky number in the culture of whatever the hell Orzu's people are called. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, so let's let's take some let's take a moment out of our busy schedule here. We've done a lot of actual space mission stuff. We haven't really tried out uh, all of the activities. Let's play the slot machine. Now listen, I know we're not gonna win anything at the slot machine. That's not how casinos work. But let's at least see what they built here. How many credits do I wanna bet? Uh, okay, so we could get a payout of up to 30 times, like, what would we have to put in here? We're probably only going to pull the pull the thing, like, a couple of times. And I know there's a bunch of you out there going, Oh yeah, this is going to be like the pool thing. This is not going to be like the pool thing, probably. If it gets like the pool thing, I'll tell you what, I'm editing that out of the video, and it's because of you. You're the reason nobody else will get to see it. So just just sit on that. So think think about that. Yeah. What the, What's the number? I'm, I'm going to bet a... Th okay, 500. Fine. I was going to say, let's put in a thousand. This isn't even one of those, like, fancy slot machines, because there are fancier, like, right with they have, like, a bunch of diagonal lines run across the thing, and I've never actually used one of those, and I don't know how they work. Let's pull it two more times, see if we win anything. I have to be, I have to be honest with you. After the, Damn. like, complexity of the 8-ball simulation and everything, or it's like an actual pool game, this is kind of disappointing. Hey, look at that. We threw away 1,500 credits. Oh, well. What a bummer. I don't like that dice game very much. We could talk to the bartender, try to follow some leads or something, but I think we're just going to bounce. We have a delivery. Let's go make that delivery because I want the space in our hold back. Oh, that's right. We had that, that combat mission we were going to try again. 66k. Can we... I know I was saving up for shields. Ah, eh, you know what. I was going to say, can we maybe make an improvement that'll make us more likely to be able to get that combat mission done? But... Let's just continue saving up for shields. We'll give this thing one or two shots. It does seem a little overwhelm excuse me, overwhelming. And then we'll just uh we'll just move on. We'll get back on our route. Alright. I think we're gonna leave this radio station on for a little while. I don't know, for this episode at least. I like this. It, I think it, it suits the tone of the game well. Destination reached. Hey, Richter. Oh, wow. You in the mood to kick a little ass? I know, I know. Everybody needs a little more Richter in their life. Happy Probably, the especially ride. these pilots. Or these uh, pirates, rather. Alright, show me something. That's too, that's too far out. Hold on. I assumed too far out. So we want to take down some of the bigger gunships first, right? What is this? This is probably a Kodiak. It's an ADS. Alright, let's start with this guy. He's kind of on the outskirts of the fight, and he's dangerous enough that I think it's it's a good idea to get rid of him quickly. Hey hey, Juno, I sure hope you weren't finding a way waiting for me. And the ads are way easier to kill. I'm being shot at by that jackrabbit over there? Like the ads are the ads is probably the perfect ship to kill because it's relatively easy to bring down and it has a pretty high damage potential if we're not paying attention to it. I guess we can knock out this Shot jackrabbit real quickly. What with it being Found right on top of us and everything. This is some bullshit right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm sympathetic to that concern. I would be frustrated as well. Alright. Try to burn down the ads, then take out these coach whips. I'm going to try to stay out of the main part of the battle for now. Oh, hold on. My engine, my uh, power is not distributed appropriately for our weapon systems. I got to remember to keep doing that because it resets it automatically. Come on. Look at this. Look at this cowardice. Oven. 
Is that the third notification about hostile craft inbound that we've received? You just try and shake me, buddy. Actually, he's doing an okay job of shaking me right now. Alright, hold on. Let's get a let's get a read of the situation, because it sounds like it's maybe gotten a lot worse. Yo, it's so much worse, actually. Holy crap! Almost all of the friendlies are dead. Okay. Well, I'd love to get paid. It'd be super cool to get paid. That Kodiak there is going to have to be the next target. Alright, guns reloaded. You know what, <laughs> Richter, you feel free to kill as many of them as you want. Yep, I saw a lot of misses there. Alright, well at least some of them. Some of the mercenaries are doing work. Stop, stop wiggling. Stop doing the baby giraffe wiggle. That's my move, and you did not pay me for it. Come on, Juno. Oh. Ooh. I do feel like we're doing better this time. I'm probably um, just doing a smarter job of targeting. It turns out a little application of tactics would be very helpful. Come on, die, die, die. Okay. Whatever's behind me is kicking my ass right now. Ooh, man. So it's that Kodiak, right? I'm gonna try flying away from it for right now. I hope that it just gets distracted by Richter or something. Looks like we got some uninvited company. Come on. There we go. Even more hostile craft entering the area. Oh, it's those, uh, the religious pirates. <sighs> Alright, I guess... This is... Oh, no, this isn't Richter. I thought green was Richter for a second there, but... I mean, there are some more, there are some more mercenary ships in here as well, and it looks like they brought some big stuff. Alright, let's work this guy. I think he turned right before I fired. I don't think I'm getting my, uh... My missiles are locked. Oh my god. Very annoying. Very annoying flight paths. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that, actually. Tell you what, this is gonna be a lot of money to replace all the missiles I'm firing here. Alright, his shields are off. Got him. For you. Ooh. Hold full. No, hold cannot be too full for human transplant. I need those. I need those human transplants. Uh, hey you, back into space with you. That's a kill. All right, we'll pick those up later. Hold on, let's let's stay focused. So there's a Kodiak right there, and we're kind of on the edge of the battle already. We could be further on the edge of the battle though. Come on. Ah, oh, this is bad. This is uh, bad. Thanks for the assist. Okay, we're just gonna do the old wiggle for a second here. Alright, try, try to turn on him. A pair of jackrabbits. I mean, yeah, we managed to managed to get out toward the edge of the fight a little bit more. Let's just peel off some of these little ships that are shooting at us. Wow. That was even faster than I thought that was gonna be. Okay, I mean, it's it's coming down, right? I will say, this makes it way easier, but being able to basically pause time and like make smart targeting decisions and stuff, it does detract a little something. Oh, hey. I can edge pan the camera. Did I... Did I seriously not realize that you could... Man, yeah, I was trying to use keyboard navigation. Okay. Let's focus on the things I'm doing right. For a change. Okay, 
let's let's go after the Kodiak, I guess. We got we got him like he's right on top of us and he's not paying attention to us. This is probably a good time. Oh, he is right on top of us, actually. Yeah, he is enduring some serious missile fire from somewhere. Alright, we got a revenant over here. You know, I'm not 100% sure. Like, the, the religious type pirates might be... Might be fighting with the other ones, too. Because we're all just sort of... It's just sort of a big orgy of violence. All of the gunfire sounds attracted all of the assholes from three systems in every direction. Ooh, yeah, it does, like... This is way better and more effective, but it absolutely does leech some of the um, some of the tension out of the fight, you know? I should maybe try to use it a little bit more sparingly. That said, this fight is 1,000% the kind of time when I should be doing it. Well, leave a few for me, all right? You know, it's just sort of like, uh, it is as though I had a co-pilot doing the things for me that a co-pilot would do. Yeah, I think the Revenant's probably a higher priority here. These guys are a little bit harder to kill, just a little bit more annoying than a coachman. Although it looks like he's taking a lot of crap from everybody, so we can probably start saving missiles here. Uh, that's Richter. Don't shoot Richter out of the sky. It's actually, as much as I hate to say it, actually a critical component of our success. Alright, let's go over here and help. We'll peel this coach whip off, and then everybody in the area can focus real hard on the Kodiak. Not let him guide me into that big piece of metal. Okay, I think we're clear. It is starting to be the case that we have a real serious numbers advantage here, and I am really, really enjoying that. A very different sort of feeling than a lot of the fights we get into. They messed with the wrong rust. Nice shit. I'm gonna hit that. Yep. Shit. Fly easy now. I need to, like, bind drop speed to zero. Oh, I think we're good. So let's figure out... Oh, there's still an enemy alive. We must fix it. You see any bounties around here? We haven't, we haven't gotten paid yet. <laughs> Objective oh, there we go. Now I'm paid. Well, that being the case, let's have a look at the dropped cargo, because somewhere out here... There were some human transplants, and I need those. So it looks like the yellow marks are the illegal cargo, and the green marks are the legal. And I don't see them anywhere. Let's let's fly in this direction a little bit. I think that might be part of the problem, is we're just not close enough. Yeah, it's possible we got too far away from them and lost them. They might even have despawned, right? It sure doesn't look like anything new is showing up on the scopes. Yeah, I wonder if we just got too far away and they despawned. Well, I suppose surviving is better than getting the cargo, but I sure would have liked to do both. Ah, hell. Alright. I guess let's just get back on the job. Still, that was that was bracing. That was a fun way to start the episode. So we gotta go back to Montana and then from there to Mississippi, and that is where our robot's friend is waiting for us, and also where we're delivering all of these components to. Okay, well I'm not interested in playing with hostiles. And then once we do this delivery, we can finish trying to put together all that obtainium, right? Okay, maybe I should be doing the wiggle. You know how they hate the wiggle. Evade pirate fire with this one weird trick.
know, considering what an absolute boat this thing is, we're pretty fast. So I can't even remember. I, I think that was only like a 15,000 credit job, right? It was a lot of fun, though. So we're still, we're still way short of our shield upgrade. This game is like, this game is pretty good. <laughs> I'm having a having an all right time here. Uh, Mississippi. I sure wish they hadn't made both a Mississippi system and a Missouri system, because I have trouble keeping them apart in my head. Yeah, I guess we can zoom off for a little thing here. Oh, except that if we get paid in cargo, we don't really have space. Well. We have one spot. To be in a bit of trouble. I sure could use your help. What kind of trouble might that be? He doesn't seem to be getting attacked. I don't take kindly to pirates. What? I gotta take off, Juno. I'll see you around. Hostile craft entering the area. <laughs> right into our trap. Get on it. Damn it, an ambush. That was very confusing. Look what we got here. Something juicy. <laughs> this is far too easy. Like I get, I get it's an ambush and like he wasn't he wasn't being straight with us. Oops, that's the wrong button. He's a pirate and he wasn't being straight with us and yeah, whatever. But like, why did he call me up and shout I hate pirates? <laughs> what part of the ambush was that? toward that missile as quickly as possible. Oh, I went too far. That's a shame, because I was kind of hoping uh, I would not get hit by that. And of course, at exactly that moment, all the tracers ran out of ammo. Damn it, yeah. received. Okay. Breached. Yep, the aft hull has been breached. It's a small... Listen, it's a little breach. It's not a big deal. If I can actually... Okay. Come on, come on, come on. If we can just burn a couple of these dudes out. Come on, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, we're probably we're probably dead, huh? What I was gonna say is if we can just burn a couple of them out, we can we can get to a point where our shields regen fast enough that they're not going to be able to kill us. Like, I don't know that it's the case the two jackrabbits could kill me. But we need to get the coach whips out of there a little bit faster. Oh well. Okay, it's... Let's see. Mission log. Okay, yeah. It did, in fact, remember that we finished that one mission. Where am I exactly? Okay, we hadn't we have not yet gone through the Montana jump game. Destination reached. Craft entering the area. This is where I'm trying to go, right? Hold on a second. Am I getting turned around? No, this is right. Okay, let's get on the other side of this jump. And not stop to help people, because helping people is always bad. That's what I've learned from this game. I got a skedaddle. Yeah, I feel like you could have uh, stuck around just like a little tiny bit longer last time. Whatever. Let's let's not get confused and start thinking Richter's our friend or anything. He's just a weird dude who hates his brother and loves violence. And he loves violence enough that he's willing to come and perform it at no charge. The murder is payment enough, he says. Oh shit, yep, something sure is inbound. What am I being shot at by? Yeah, that makes sense. Fall back and return with an army of the just. You're about to join the army of the just converted into space dust? That was not that cool. That's fine. We'll kill him before he can tell anybody how lame he was. Ah! 
guess I'll take those. Well, that wasn't so bad. All right. Do you know, my dear? Do I have an opportunity for you? Oh yeah. Richter. <sighs> All right, lay it on me. I appreciate the sigh. Tell you what, come on over to Nacogdoches, and I'll give you the rundown. There's some money in it for you, as well as a hell of a business opportunity. I'll think about it, Richter. We are headed back in that direction after this. Pilot disengaged by distress signal. Oh, I don't know. I kind of think we should just keep flying. Destination reached. Hold on. This I'm flying toward the wrong waypoint here. I need to go there. Oh, that's it for you. Hostiles. Hostile craft inbound. And ain't that always the way? Okay, well, if we can get rid of this one, then it gets a lot easier. There we go, there we go. I got the missile, I got the missile. Everything's fine. Fine is strong. I'm alive. Technically, I'm alive. It's Kodiaks with the, uh, with the turrets, the, the nice auto turrets so that they can shoot me in the front while I'm chasing them, are a real problem. Okay, that's that could be better. Shit, shit, shit. All we gotta do is not get shot in the front very much for a couple of minutes here. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. You're gonna get a piece of me, that's for sure. I think as long as we can avoid taking very much fire in the front here. Yeah, it turns, but we're not facing that guy anymore. Uh, as long as we can avoid taking very much fire in the front here, we're probably okay. It's all jackrabbits. Damn it, I'm getting... Ooh. Oh, so this is that thing I wasn't supposed to do? Let's just run him off real fast. Bad time for the tracers to run out. Where are you going? He thinks he can get away. <laughs> he might be right. Yeah, our engines are not, uh, not quite what they used to be. This is some bullshit right here. Okay, we good? We're good. What's Kodiak's been? Not a joke. <laughs> Look what they've done to Manny's beautiful face. Come on with this. Alright, I am... I am engaging the wiggle. Oof, man. Maybe we shouldn't have stopped to fight that last group. Because maybe we needed to have a little bit more health left over for continuing to push to leads. This is one of those risky deliveries, right? Okay, I mean, we're dodging some fire. We're dodging some of the fire. Had to go to an advanced version of the baby giraffe wiggle where we were flying in figure eights there for a second. Oh my god, please just lose them. It's definitely fewer ships firing at us now. We've lost some of them. We're still taking fire from the, the guns with the white projectiles, which are... I'm not sure if it's just the Kodiaks, but the Kodiaks definitely have those. The Jackrabbits use the uh, the low-level red lasers. It's like bulk Cobra lasers. Managed to not managing to not take a lot of hits in the back, which is good considering the shields in the back have been down for a while. Every time they come up, they immediately go down again. At some point, we're just gonna actually get there the old-fashioned way. I don't know if you know this, but the aft shields are not in a great place. 
How did I just get hit in the front? Would I turn into the laser as it passed? Did not mean to click. I break you in two. Our shields down. I think breached. you should instead uh, leave me alone forever and we'll just be friends. Ah, oh, man. I thought I saw it light up for a second. I <laughs> thought I saw the uh, the autopilot thing go white. I just kind of, like, I can't... Even beyond them being able to, I kind of can't believe that they have wanted to pursue me this distance. And they're all chasing, so we can't, like, we can't stop. If we had, if we had separated them a little bit more, we could go, we could go back, but... Flames. Starting to think you might be right about that one. Yeah, they're just not going to let us get away. That sucks, man. What we need is a person like Richter who just helps us out permanently. We need to hire somebody. That needs to be a thing you can do. All right, well, we are stopping for nothing and nobody. We might have to just... I hate i hate to even suggest it, but I'm wondering, like, if we're maybe going to have to just wait for Richter to actually make it to the, uh, to the station. You know, my dear, do I have an opportunity for you? No way to fast forward this, I imagine. All right, lay it on me. Tell you what, come on over to Nacogdoches and I'll give you the rundown. There's some money in it for you, as well as a hell of a business opportunity. I'll think about it, Richter. Can't autopilot. There we go. They really ought to let you just Don't keep let flying. Don't deal pass you by. Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. Right. Hostile How bad is it? Entering the area. So this situation again. Alright, let's try this one more time, but do a, do a better job. Not actually shoot him. Take a bite out of this. The fire missile button is right next to the uh, pull up the HUD button. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting to readjust this. Come on, come on. I'm TVC. Got gotcha. you know what are you blind? This is not gonna go your way. Alright. We definitely took less damage this time. That got you in my sights. <laughs> Almost as though she was planning to blow up. Forward shields down. That's fine. That's fine. That guy is too far out to even worry about right now. Kind of seems like maybe a lot of them are running. Last of them. Took a moment there to grab some steel. Uh, was that the thing we needed? I can't remember. Armor heavily damaged. Reactor core slightly damaged. Lots of stuff kind of damaged. Yes, that was the thing I needed four of. Okay. So we're going to jump and we're just going to get attacked again, right? Hey, what is this? This is a gate. This is not where I'm going. Stinger. 
Okay, that plus on our radar was, for some reason, religious tracks. I don't know why those get a plus. There we go. That's what I want. It'd be really cool if I could jump. Okay. Then we get stopped, we got and we here. just hold tab immediately. Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. Hostile craft oh, inbound. Okay. Not what I was looking for. Coach Whip adds adds. Are you k All right. So they're not going to let us run from them. I got you in my side. They'll just move however ha however quickly they have to to make that not possible. So we got to Oh good. More hostile craft entering the area. Jackrabbit, jackrabbits. I mean All right. We burn out a couple of the missile ships as quickly as possible. I don't know. We're probably dead. This this might just not be doable without Richter to help us out. Yeah, we just try and shake this. Okay, that guy's down. I mean, if we get rid of the ads, I mean, jackrabbits are not that scary, but. There's a number of them that kills us, for sure. Yeah, that's there's no way that's doable. We would need the new shields already. I need to be able to just endure that quantity of fire for a longer period of time. So... What we can do... Uh, it just pulled me out of the gate. There we go. What we could do is jump over to Mississippi and just not attempt to go near Leeds. God, it's like get hit by a truck. Let's let Richter call us, because apparently that's not avoidable. And then we'll just like fly around and look for mining to do, or I, we can't even really mine anything. Yeah, we can't mine anything. Man, what am I gonna do? You know, my dear, do I have an opportunity for you? Richter. <sighs> All right, lay it on me. Tell you what, come on over to Nacogdoches and I'll give you the rundown. There's some money in it for you. Does well feel like maybe it could remember that you saw this conversation already I'll think and just it, not Richter. play it on the subsequent lives? Autopilot disengaged by distress signal. Yeah, sure. That'll do. That's, that's something we can do to pass the time. Hopefully not, uh, hopefully it's not difficult enough Just to get us damaged. A gaggle of sh it looks like it's not great. Ugh, it's the cops. Alright, well. Destination reached. And we gotta do something while we wait out the Richter time. An offer of assistance. Looks like trouble. There's too many for me. We can blow the cop up afterward if we want. The turret is really nice. And I can't wait to replace this laser with like a real gun. Assistance requested. Assi you make such a beautiful orange light when you go. Missile inbound. Forward shields down. Cloud inbound. So, more craft inbound. It seems like. Shields down. I guess they figure they uh, they figure out a point where you just can't. You can't possibly fight any more enemies at one time, and then they continue to ramp the difficulty up from there by just making you have to fight marathons of that number of enemies. That's why we're starting to see so, so many notifications during every single battle. Uh, our front shields are pretty screwed up, so let's go away from the missiles for a moment. 
That's why we're starting to see so many of those notifications now. Yeah, this, uh... fight has damaged us badly enough that we definitely could not um, could not engage in any of those fights at this point anyway. We're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to abandon this mission then. It's like the thing is if we're if we're thinking we got to go do something else then we have to drop all this cargo right like we're we're going out of our way to Mississippi. Let's see what happens when we Pull forward, please. Okay, so does it just give us fuel? The, the other one... The other one we saw gave us ammo, right? Or would have given us ammo if we needed any. Rearming fee, jump drive refueled... Do they repair us, is my question. Because if they don't repair us at all... No, it doesn't look like they give us the option. Then we can't repair in this system at all. Let's do this. The only place to repair is Leeds, and if we try to approach Leeds, we get killed. We could jump out to somebody else, somewhere else nearby? Yeah, I guess we could jump out to Arizona? Try to get put back together over there? It's definitely not what I want to be doing. We gotta get we gotta get the ship put back together or we'll never be able to get to the place we're going. Destination reached. Well it sure did dump us out pretty far away from the destination that we have uh quote unquote reached. Yeah, I saw that absolver. I was hoping he wouldn't notice me. For shame. Okay. Anybody else? There is, in fact, a Radiance right over there. I'm hoping we can just get out. Nope. Alright, well, let's kill a bunch more assholes, and then we'll, uh... Then we'll jump free. Now we're good. So I have no interest in whatever craft is inbound. Let's just get the hell out of here. God, I can't wait to get that new shield. Hey, you know, the people at an art colony will probably really appreciate our paint job. Please tell me we're not going to get scanned or anything on the way in here. I just need to repair my ship. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that did, that didn't go the way I was expecting it to at all. I guess it. I guess I should have known. It's the same mission type as that one where we had to make several jumps away from uh, from pirates uh, before. Eighty-one k. And we're getting there. I have a slot in my mission log now. Is there anything easy around here? In the Dakota system, we could work for some pirates. Maybe that's worth doing. Yeah, sure. But largely what I'm doing here is just waiting for Richter to come off cooldown so that we can have a chance against these much larger groups of enemies. How's that looking? Oh, he's just un he's permanently unavailable. Okay, never mind. Due to him having that new mission. Well. So we gotta make a determination here. Wait. Buckeye is the house of worship? Maybe we should swing over there. I wonder if we can learn anything about these weird... Religious attackers were always getting jumped by. 
Maybe it's not that kind of house of worship. But we're gonna find out. Kind of appropriate music for the approach. Requesting landing clearance. The station does look a little different than uh, than any of the others we've landed at. Let's hope we don't burst into flames upon stepping on the consecrated bulkhead. Well, I mean, it sure does look different in here. Nothing except a commodity board, though. Wait, I thought I... Did I not remember to sell this fish? Well, let's sell this fish. I don't actually want this. And then the components and the steel and everything we gotta hold on to. Yeah, alright. It won't even let me accidentally sell the mission components, which I appreciate, because I would if I could. Uh... So are we gonna try... Are we gonna try to go back and do this thing? Because if we are, we should do it before we leave the area. Now that we know we don't have anything to wait on. I mean, our ship's back in one piece. I guess let's just, let's, let's give it another go. It would, of course, be really nice to be able to, uh... Be really nice to be able to fly out of some of those, uh, battles, if we could. business. Where the hell is the jump gate? Okay. Mississippi. Let's give this one more try. I wonder if we can... Yeah, by the way, those are, those are message noises coming from my computer. Uh, <laughs> don't panic and try to figure out who's messaging you. Apparently I left a bunch of my messaging services active, and somebody is kind of trying to get a, a hold of me, but not via any of the well, methods that yeah. I would look at right away. Look at what we got here. Okay, is this a group of enemies that we can kill quickly? This is that same group of enemies we keep running up against. Well, I don't think we can run from them, so... Disengaged by hostiles. Hostile craft entering the area. Let's do the thing and just do it quickly. Oh, hell with this shit! Now we got this Kodiak on the run much faster than usual. Although the missiles are like steadfastly refusing to hit it. Okay, forward shields are down for just a moment. Let's try to keep the side shields toward most of the enemies here. I probably didn't need to do that. That's a wasted missile. This is the end for you. Forward shields down. Certainly the end for one of us. Man. You know, honestly... This is the end for you. I'd feel a little bit less annoyed about the fact that a lot of these collisions are completely unavoidable if Juno didn't berate herself for all of them. Not only are a, a fair number of them unavoidable after you've like actually fired the shots, but also, they don't seem to matter very much. Like, we don't take a lot of damage from them or anything. I gotta get the hell out of here. Right, hold on a second. We're changing targets. This, the jackrabbit that's fleeing from us, I'll just let it flee. It's like our turret almost killed that one while I was not even paying attention. Like we're in the clear. Okay. I think as far as that particular encounter goes, that went pretty well. The problem is this next one. Ooh, alright. That is, no, that's a jump gate. Hold on. I wish that... There we go. This is where I'm going, right? Stop showing me stolen freight on the scanner, I don't care. I just want my destination to be the thing that appears. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to clear garbage off the scanner. I'm pretty sure this is right. 
believe you strolled into a dangerous neck of the woods. Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. Hostile craft inbound. Okay. Missile inbound. Oh, you don't say. Missile inbound. Let's try to burn them down fast. Taste Since some we know we can't run. Taste some of this. Hostile craft inbound. Maybe I got them all wrong. Maybe they're not pirates. They just, you know, they're making chili. And they just want me to try it. They, they need to know what other people think of it. You know, you like your own chili. Of course you do, because you put in the things that you like. All right. Uh. Yeah, this large number of missile ships is a real problem. We could, I suppose. We do have the money for an ECM system. It's not, I think what I would like to buy, but maybe it's the thing we need to buy to make it through these particular encounters. It's definitely less good than just buying the shield upgrade, but also it's less expensive. Okay, this thing where... As soon as the fighting gets tough, we run into the pilot who whose ship can do anything he wants it to do, and we just become completely unable to fight them. It's frustrating. When that happens, I guess I should just immediately break off targeting. I have a real bad tendency to get my jaws in and just sort of set. <sighs> okay, so we could... This is annoying, by the way. I wish they would fix this. When you... When you die and the last thing that you interacted with was a jump gate... It spawns you right at the jump gate. I get that. But it spawns you, like, in the dead center of it, so you are immediately outside of the jumping area and facing away from it. It should spawn you such that you're looking at the jumpy thing, and you can just jump again if you want. Alright, I'm gonna try... Hold on a second. I'm gonna try evading the, the Kodiak encounter. Let's see if that's doable. If we can run without taking any actual hull damage. Because I don't know... I don't think the Kodiaks are all that fast. We might be able to get away from the Kodiak, and then the... The other ships are less of a problem. They're not... They're not no problem. They're less of a problem. Hell, if we could evade the Kodiak and just fight the uh, the other ones, that also would work. Okay, we were able to bounce out of that fight. By hostiles. Hostile craft entering the area. Missile inbound. Without taking any engine damage, which means we actually get to evade, we, we get to run from them at full speed. So I'm gonna keep trying to run. I think. Don't you <laughs> Jackrabbit get killed by our turret. Real quick. That's very embarrassing for them. Missile inbound. Okay, we were in fact able to just jump out of that one as well. Autopilot and... disengaged by distress signal. Nope. Oh, you know what? I should have I should have chilled out there for a second and let all of our stuff regenerate. Oh, please tell me they're just gonna let me dock. Please tell me there's not hostiles here as well. Uh, all I'm getting is neutral mercenary readings. Okay, it turns out fleeing like a coward wins the day. Also, the game tricked me there with a uh, with a jump through notification rather than a docking notification. I almost left after doing all that work to get us here. Objective complete. Cargo removed. All right. Reasonably valuable. Now we're here. I mean, we can uh, we can get that Safeness, mission yeah. turn in. Took six credits worth of damage to the armor. Not bad Wait, at all. I was hoping I'd find you here. Well, hell, do you know, Mark Cab? How you doing these days? Staying in trouble, I hope. I was been part help, of but... my skill set. How's business on your end? It could be a little smoother, but I don't need to bore you with my problems. We ain't little old ladies talking about our maladies. To get right down to it, I've got a little project over in Eureka I'm overseeing, and I need an equipment distributor. I'm hoping I can get you to bend one of your supply routes that way. Is that in the realm of possibility? Hmm, Eureka, eh? That's a mite far off the beaten path. 
<laughs> Don't I know it. You know, you stopping by it might just be fortuitous. Those bumps in the road I was muttering about earlier. My supply freighters have been getting harassed lately. The Red Devil's shaking them down when they hit the lonelier stretches. It's costing me dear. Maybe if you can give me a hand with that, we can come to some arrangement. What do you say? Seems fair. What do you need me to do? You're a good shot and cool under pressure always were. Why don't you tag along with one of my boys and take care of any undesirables that decide to come calling? They like to hit us between Taggart and Missouri. Say you meet up with one of my guys there and keep your eyes peeled through to Missouri. You got yourself a deal. Fine, fine. You just meet him up at the Arizona Jump Gate in Taggart. Best of luck. While you're at it, I'll take a look at those Eureka roots. I'm on it. See you later, Leeds. Okay, that sounds extremely doable. It sounds like the enemies would mostly be shooting at people who aren't me, which is my favorite kind of people for them to shoot at. Alright. Anything here we want to do? Not really. I was kind of hoping we'd just be able to, like, buy a unit of steel somewhere. It's alright, we'll figure it out. So we're headed... Let me think here. We're headed back to Taggart through Arizona. Wait, sorry, was it... It's either the Arizona Jump Gate and Taggart, or the Taggart Jump Gate... Oh, whatever. We're headed in that direction. Let's see if there are any missions that are either here or in Arizona. That are worth doing. A uh, high-risk scout in the wrong direction, but man, that's a lot of money. How much exactly... ...do we need for our shield? I've already forgotten. Because I'm extremely good at forgetting stuff. 117. So we are really close. So this remote patrol, this is more money than we need. Can we do something a little... ooh. Ten units of Griel Whiskey to the Taggart system. It's a low-risk, risky cargo run. And it's way more money than we need. Yeah, 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 I'll do this. I can do this. God, it's good to have a hold that can actually, like, carry stuff. Alright. It's still good. It's still good. So we just need to jump out of here. Let me, let me make sure I'm going the right way, because I get turned around real easily. Arizona, this is the right way. So that right there is the Montana Jump Gate. That's Arizona, there we go. Destination reached. I will say, I have immediately filled the cargo hold again, which means that we, sadly, still cannot really do any mining. That really seems like somebody else's problem, ship lady. You know, I'm a little surprised that voice didn't change when we changed ships. I guess we we took our computer with us or something. Alright. That is where we're headed. We probably don't need to stop off anywhere. Beginning a contraband scan, hold oh, citizen. You don't need to do that. I do think it's probably a good idea to uh, engage the shields. <laughs> Later! Action police reduced by 50. Yeah, that's fair. We're still feeling pretty lawful. I think this is the right jump gate? I, I made a move pretty quick there. Nope, this is Dakota. This is very much not where I'm going. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. Ah, uh, where is that? Okay. Through the Taggart system, in exchange for a supply contract, so yeah, we're meeting them at the Arizona Jump Gate in the Taggart system, on the other side of this. Uh, 
All right, let's pair up. Right? Am I... There sure isn't anybody over here. Hold on a second. Well, I mean, we have a... Yeah, we have a node. I guess let's jump over to there. I thought she said we'd meet him at the jump gate. I don't know. Autopilot disengaged by craft proximity. Juno Mark F here. Sounds like you boys need an extra set of eyes. Maybe we were supposed to guide them to the jump gate. Lead said we should sit tight until you showed. When you're ready, fly on over and pair up with us and we'll get moving. You got it. Who am I pairing with? There we go. There we go. Just... Disengaged by hostiles. Hostile hey, what a surprise. Inbound. There they are, right on schedule. Red devil bastards. We sure do hope Boy, whatever that gun is, it sure has a much longer range than mine. Got it. Okay. I managed to take that not entirely in the front. Alright, in this case, I think we should be pretty generous with the missile fire. That one was an accident. My finger slipped. I'm gonna try to keep these transport ships alive. Oh, hold on. Maybe I should uh, focus on the one that's shooting at me first, I guess. Really close. Okay, now I'm coming. I'm coming to save you. Oof, that's a big explosion. I think this one is, at the very least, sufficiently distracted. He's not going to be shooting at him anymore. I do not need craft entering the area. Hold on, let me get a read on... Oh, Jesus! Boy, they were not joking. That's a lot of craft. Alright. This day just keeps getting better and better. We have got to lower their numbers and quickly. Come on, where? There they are. Well, that's that's a, yeah, the bad explosions. Do not accidentally shoot the. Come on! Damn, I really thought I was clear there. It's part of the problem with the. Uh, part of the problem with the bulk of the ship being off center of our view, I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess let's just deal with the one that's close. to make a tactical withdrawal. Yeah, I think that time maybe passed a couple of minutes ago for you. You just try and shake me, buddy. Craft inbound, man. Missile away. Come on, please just die. like it's like the uh the freighters are starting to get the situation under control a little bit we lost one i think that's the last of them 
Oh, Looks all like right. that's the last of them. Whew. We sure are glad you were along for the ride. Fly on over and pair up. Let's put this system in the rear view. Well yeah, do. Jesus. Let's, uh, let's not have that happen again. Ah, oh, they're just crashing into each other. There we go. There's the, there's the pair notification. I was waiting for all the contraband to get clear of the scope. Okay. Thanks again for the assist, Miss Markev. We sure do appreciate it. We'll put in a good word for you with Leeds. Fly safe, boys. Well, thank God that's over. I don't know that I could have taken another one of those fights. I just got the all clear from that freighter. Good as your word, just like always. I think you can count on that supply route taking a detour into Eureka, Juno. Pleasure doing business again. Objective Thanks, complete. Leeds. I'll drop Ooh. in for a beer next time I'm in Mississippi. Okay. So, this is where we're supposed to take that obtainium. Hold on a second. So the the cargo run we took goes to Rasmussen. So I'm trying to figure out, like, we got to be a little bit careful here. If we jump toward Rasmussen, we're just going to get attacked, right? So maybe we need to leave the sector, repair, and then come back and do this? I know the thing was listed as being low risk, but... Then again, maybe we could just run? Hold on. Let me... We are moving at maximum speed right now. Yeah, maybe we could just outrun any trouble we get into. Disengaged by hostiles. Hostile craft entering the area. Already holding the afterburners. As <laughs> soon as the animation ended. Down. Jesus Christ. Look. Down. Roll, roll, make it so it's not all hitting the starboard shield. There we go. Okay, I think we got him behind us for the most part. And we're still moving full uh, full afterburner speed. Might be good enough, maybe. It is. All right. Let's see how many more times we're gonna get ambushed on the way. Hostile craft inbound. In inbound. Like they're not on top of me already. I'll burn you to cinders. Now you're gonna have to catch me first. Hostile craft inbound. Well, well. Look at what we got here. Yeah, I'm really glad we didn't try to stop and fight this, because boy oh boy do I not need a full ambush squad plus two more inbound. So it seems like when we're when we're at full engines, we can escape just by power to the engines and afterburner. Uh, but if our if our engine takes any hits at all, we're not quite fast enough to get away. Please, 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 just let me land. Alright. Alright, let's get that shield upgrade. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Mission complete. Cargo removed. Hopefully we won't need repairs in excess of the difference. There we go. There we go. Everything is beautiful. And our power plant is plenty powerful to handle it. Yes, please get rid of the old shield generator. We don't need that. Okay. Feeling pretty okay about that situation. We just... How much was it? We just more than tripled our shield capacity. That will buy us the time we need to peel off a couple of the guns at the beginning of... Uh, at the beginning of encounters. So the next move, I think, is the ECM. We could get more armor. And armor is not very expensive. Man, you really get a big increase. The ECM was like, the, the good one was like 60-something? 48. You know what? Let's do this next. Missiles hit hard. Hardish. And hopefully with our shields, the armor will be less of a concern. We'll do the ECMs next. 
So, where are we at now as far as missions go? We just need to get back over there, right? And I guess also... Yeah, we meet Richter, go back to Hobbs. We still need a ton of steel from somewhere. And then we have these things which are just gonna languish in our mission log forever. Don't suppose they have a ton of steel we could buy here. No such luck. Uh, we could offload these pulp novels, I suppose. Apparently we, we made contact with the person who will sell us some void if we really want it. Alright, what about this? Anything that goes back in the direction we're going? 11 units of obtainium for 63 is probably not even a bad... Jeez, that's a lot of diamonds. It's like a lot of diamonds. Now, it looks like none of this stuff really goes in the direction we want to go. Where's Hampton? Yeah, Hampton's extremely the wrong way. Well, that's just very disappointing. We, we have found the last ton of steel a couple of times and then died immediately after. I don't know. We'll get there. I think, though, this is a pretty good place to stop it for today. We got a couple of important things done. We made probably the most consequential purchase we could possibly make at this time. Uh, so that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time, tomorrow. We're actually going to move some plot forward and probably also finish buying our defensive options. Both of those things are very exciting to me. And we'll see you then.